Hi guys, today we are going to go over 4.4, which is exponential and logarithmic equations. So being able to solve these equations and we're going to implement a lot of the rules that we used um, and learned yesterday. So let's continue on. So this is just a reminder when solving exponential equations by expressing each side as a power of the same base then we can rewrite it and set m equal to n. So set the exponents equal to each other. So that's gonna, how we're going to solve this first set here. So if we have 5 to the 2x minus 1, we need to get uh, 625 to have a base of 5, right? So we're going to have 5 to the 2x minus 1 equal to 5 to some exponent, right? To find that exponent, we can do a factor tree of 625. And when we're done with that fact, factor tree, we see that 5 occurs 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So it'll be 5 to the 4th. Now that we have the same base, we can cancel those base to get 2, 2x minus 1 equals 4. So then 2x equals 5 and x equals 5 halves is our solution. So it's just implementing that rule we just saw. Let's do a couple more. So this one here, we have 3x plus 6 equal 9x plus 2. Well, 3 is prime, so that's as far as we can go. But we can write 9 as 3 squared and then take it to the x plus 2 afterwards. So the 3 and the 3 cancel and we get x plus 6 equals 2 times x plus 2. And then it's just solving a linear equation from there or a regular equation from there. So x plus 6 equals 2x plus 4. So then uh, if we move the 4 over, we get x plus 2 equals 2x and then 2 equals x as our solution. Here, 8 and 4 can both be reduced down to 2, right? So 2 to the third is how we get 8 equal to 4. Uh, sorry, not 4. We want to go down to a 2. So 2 squared will give us 4. So then our 2's can cancel, so we get 3x plus 2 is equal to 2 times 3x. And then same thing, we can just go through the steps here to solve. So 3x plus 6 equals 6x. So 6 equals 3x. So x equals 2 once again. So the next rule that we can remember to be able to solve these is that if we take the ln or the log of uh, both sides, we can transform it, right? Um, so we can go from an exponent to a logarithmic and then solve from there. So let's take a look. So this first one, we have 2x equals 40. So if we think about that, we can rewrite this as log base 2 of 40 is equal to x. And here you have two options. You can put this in if you have a calculator that will execute this, or if your calculator will only do the common log or the natural log, you could use either one of those and use the change base formula. So if I use the change base formula, I get x equals log of 40 over log of 2 and almost all calculators that you have access to would do that. So I actually pulled up the Noom's work calculator so we could see both. So if we use the Noom's work calculator, this is connected to your Blackboard so you can access it um, if you'd like to. We're going to make sure that we have calculation uh, selected and click OK. And then we're going to put in um, uh, log you see on this one, you can go in and you can change your base of your log. So instead of doing 10, we could do the 2 and then put 40 
in click enter. And so we get approximately 5.32. Or we could do it with the change base formula. So if you had a calculator that only did the common log, you could do log of uh, 40 divided by log of 2. And you would get the same thing. Or if you just know where the ln is on your calculator, same thing. You could do ln of 40 divided by ln of 2 using the change base formula. And you see, no matter what we do, we get the correct answer there. So regardless of how you work this problem, you should get 5.32. For this next one, the first thing we want to do is isolate the 5 to the x power because doing that will allow us to use that formula on the previous page to change it. So if I add 7 to both sides, I get 5x equals 28. And so when I change that to a logarithmic, so I can do, um, I can do log base 5 of 28 equals x. And again, you can do the change base formula if you need to here, and then put it in your calculator, or if you use the calculators, uh, like the new marks, you could do it straight through. Either way, you should get approximately 2.07. So this one, same thing, you need to isolate that 10 to the x plus 1 before you can use the changing with the to logarithmics. So we get 10x plus 1 equals 28. So then that would be log base 10, which is just the common log of 28 equals x plus 1. So then log of 28 minus 1 equals x. So if you did that in your calculator, x would be equal to 0 0.45 approximately. So here we see that the base that we're using for our exponent is e, so it makes sense to use ln, so we don't have to write that base of 0 0.04 equals negative t. And so negative of ln of 0 0.04 equals t. So if we do that, t is equal to 3.22. On this next one, same thing, isolate and use the ln. So we get 3e to the x is equal to 15. So e to the x is equal to 5. So ln of 5 equals x. So x is approximately 1.61. Uh, this is the last one of this type that we'll do. So I can add 5 to both sides to give me 4 times 3 to the x plus 1 equals 8. And then we can divide by 4 to give us 3x plus 1 equals 2. So log base 3 of 2 equals x plus 1. So we could uh, then subtract 1 log base 3 of 2 minus 1 equals x. And you could put it in straight like that. If you can't, because you're using a calculator other than Noom's work, you can use uh, log of 2 over log of 3 minus 1 in your calculator, because your calculator should be able to do that. And so when you do that, you should get x is approximately negative 0 0.37. And so the last type we're going to look at here um, is what happens when we go the other direction. So we can use um, these to practice that. So if, if it's the common log, we know our base is 10. So 10 to the negative 3 equals x. So then 1 over 10 to the third is x. So 1 over 1,000 is equal to x. And if you wanted a decimal answer, that would be x is equal to 0 0.001. So 
So that's pretty straightforward. Same thing here. We have base 5 to squared equals x minus 4. So 25 equals x minus 4. So 29 equals x. Now, one thing you have to remember when you do these is that it fits in the domain. So you can only have positive values in here. Luckily, with both of these, we would have a positive value in the log. So let's try this one. So this would be e to the seventh equals x. So that would be x is approximately 1096.63. And that you would just put directly into your calculator. Here we would have 5 to the third equals 8 minus 7x. So 5 to the third is 125 equals 8 minus 7x. So 117 when we subtract 8 from both sides equal to negative 7x. So then divide by negative 7 and we would get x is equal to negative 16.71. And if you put that in, having a negative and then a negative here will make that positive. So that answer checks out. So this one, you have to use some of the other rules you learned about logarithm, logarithmics. And so you can combine this addition into multiplication to make it one log function. So this is log x times x plus 3 equals 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and distribute that x, x squared plus 3x equals 1. And now you can rewrite this since it's a base 10, common log here, 10 to the first power equals x squared plus 3x. So then 10 equals x squared plus 3x. If you subtract 10 from both sides, you get 0 equals x squared plus 3x minus 10. So then if we go from there and factor, we get 0 equals x. Uh, let's see, 5 has to be the positive one. And so then x plus 5 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals negative 5, and x equals positive 2. We know that we can't have this answer because if we put a negative 5 in here, we can't find a log of a negative number. So our only solution in this case is x equals 2. So this one, you can use the subtraction rule here, right? So we have log of 3. This would become 2x minus 1 over x minus 4 equals 2. So this would be 3 squared equals 2x minus 1 over x minus 4. So 3 squared is 9 equals 2x minus 1 over x minus 4. If we multiply by x minus 4 on both sides, we get 9x minus 36 equals 2x minus 1. Then we can subtract 2x from both sides to get 7x minus 36 equals negative 1. And add 36 to both sides to get 7x equals 35. And divide by 7 to get x equals 5. And that answer will work because we won't have any negatives there. So you can use the one-to-one -one property for logarithmics to solve. Um, and so we will do a few using that as well. So here, um, I can rewrite this as log of 3 equals x times x plus 1, which equals log base 3 of 2. And so since we're taking log base 3 of both of these, we can essentially have a power of 3 that we're raising both of these two. So the 3 and the log of 3 will cancel. And we'll be left with x times x plus 1 equals 2. So we get x squared plus x equals 2. So x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. 
And so that factors to x plus 2 times x minus 1. So then x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0 are possible. So x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. Well, if we put in a negative 2 right here, we'll get a negative logarithmic. That will not work for us. So our only solution is x equals 1. So here, same thing, we can write this as ln of 4x plus 6 over x plus 5 because of the subtraction equals ln of x. So again, you can use e as a base here. The e and the ln will cancel and we'll have 4x plus 6 over x plus 5 equals x. So then 4x plus 6 equals that x plus 5 times x will give us x squared plus 5x. So then we'll get 0 is equal to x squared uh, plus x minus 6 when we move everything to one side. So then if we factor, we get 0 is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 3. So x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, so x could equal 2, and x could equal negative 3. But if we put in a negative 3 here, we have a problem, we can't do that. So our only solution here is x equals 2. And so that is the conclusion of 4.4.